Hey guys, the thing that is on my mind this morning is strategic planning. And it is on my mind for a couple of different reasons. The first one is, I think so many times we have our superpower, the thing that we're great at, and we forget how darn valuable that thing is. So when you look at your business strategy and you see, you know, what are the ways that you've got revenue coming in? Um, what products and services do you have? Really sit down and have a think about what is your superpower and what are the things that you're just great at that you can incorporate into your business strategy if you're not already doing it. So um, I'll give you an example for me. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, I think when you look back, things are pretty obvious, but uh, yeah, when you're in the middle of it, sometimes it's not. So I've gotten two requests to do strategic planning over the last couple of weeks. And I love doing uh, workshops. So I am a great facilitator and coordinating and doing workshop design is one of my superpowers. So I booked one of them and the other potential client is looking at the proposal that I sent over. And the other thing is I just love doing it. I mean, I get really energized when I'm facilitating a group, we get to the end of what they wanted. And interestingly, both clients said to me that they um, really didn't want one of the big, like, you know, PricewaterhouseCooper, Deloitte, because they come in kind of with a, you know, small team usually. And they do the strategic planning. It takes a long time. It's very expensive. And then, um, you know, the, the plan is, is usually, eh, I'll just say a, a little more than what they needed. So I, I was a perfect fit. And I was sharing this with my friend Maggie. Hello, Maggie, and thank you. And she started laughing and she's like, Carla, I, I mean, think of, because I said, I don't know why all of a sudden, you know, two strategic planning clients love it, love the work, excited to do it. But it's really interesting that that's coming up now. And she's like, yeah, it totally makes sense though, because think about it with all of the changes um, and the struggles that companies are having right now, I, this this pandemic has impacted so many companies in so many different ways that yeah they're gonna have to look at their strategic plan they may even have a line of business they need to move away from maybe a new product or service offering and their old plan isn't gonna work and I'm like oh my gosh I didn't even think about that so um, I said what if I put together just you know a, 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 a just a post on LinkedIn to say, hey, if you're struggling with your current strategic plan and you need help, um, I, I would be more than happy to take a look and see how I can support you. And she's like, yeah, I think that would work. And then in retrospect, I just had to laugh because it should have been obvious to me and it wasn't, right? I'm great at facilitation. I am uh, coordinating workshops and workshop design is one of my superpowers. And I didn't put those together with what's currently going on for companies to create this valuable offering that can help them. So I'm wondering if you have a think about your own business, your own business strategy, and what your products and services are, how things have kind of changed over the last six months, and is there something that you can offer, something that you can do that's a little bit different than what you've been doing that's gonna add value um, create a revenue stream and have you doing work that you're really good at and work that you love. So give it a think. I'm super excited uh, and I appreciate the conversation with Maggie to help me think through it. And like I said, sometimes what is should be kind of obvious just takes us a while to figure out. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next time. Bye.